G'day. So we're out here with River today. I've been working with River for, uh, for about a week now. Um, he came in with some, some soreness issues we've been working on with Emmett therapy uh, and generally anxiety issues. Um, he'd been with a trainer for a, for a short period and, uh, and had developed these anxiety issues there uh, for some reason. So we don't know the full story, but... Um, the whole, the whole plan with him here is to just to help him with relax with the whole process through the groundwork, through the ridden work, so that his uh, his owner is more more confident with carrying on with him on her own. So that's what we're going to work on, and and hopefully we can make a make a bit of a difference for him. So I'll start with their, uh, as I always do with these green ones, to check our lateral flexion. And that's not bad. He just wants to move his feet there a little bit. We've been working mostly in the round yard up till now, so he's a you know it's a bit of a new spot for him. He's gonna have a little bit of anxiety about it. That's good. We'll come the other side here. He just wants to move his feet there, that's alright. A nice soft feel there. And he's been, he's been quite a bit more braced up this side than the other. And through the Emmet therapy, that's starting to loosen up now. So that's good. And we'll check our hindquarter yield. And that's probably the softest hindquarter yield we've had so far. He has been quite anxious about doing that. Sort of almost stepping on his own feet, uh, but there we can we can see he's he's stepping across underneath himself a bit better. Still not perfect, not not quite relaxed as I would like to see it, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Let's come around here, mate, so we can see your lovely face in the video. Here's a very pretty horse, this one, and we'll check our lateral flexion. That's a little bit more anxious there, but still not bad, better than it has been, so that's good. Now we get a nice big sigh, that's nice, good kid. The next thing I want to check on is can I toss the rope over him and is he okay with that? Of course he's he's been through all of this before, his owners have done a lot of this, you know, he's been with another trainer, uh, so you know this is all pretty old hat for him, but still like to check on it anyway. There he gets a little bit of a little bit un, unhappy with that. He'll just stay in that spot, yeah, and he looks at it, so I'll take it away. Good kid, well done. And we'll come the other side here. Again, throw it over the neck first, over the saddle, over the rump, a bit of a flinch there, I'll stay on that spot so that flinch goes away, round the hind, round the front legs, over the saddle, over the neck, All right. and then we flip it over the head, again flip it over the head. Perfect. Now we want to swing up over the head both ways. Perfect. And change eyes. Nice and soft. Lovely. He wants to move his feet there. That's all right. I'll just keep swinging this rope under his chin. Up over his head. And we'll change eyes. He actually anticipated that before I before I took up my soft feel. So that tells you how many times he's done that before. Good kid. Well done. Let me just tighten the saddle up a little here. So I tighten the saddle through the groundwork a few times. I'll put it on at one point. Um, when I get into the arena to start work, I'll 
pull it up a couple of holes, it'll do a little bit of work, pull it up a couple of holes, do a little bit of work, and pull it up to where I want it to be when I get on. I'll send him off here, just want to walk. That's nice. Much more relaxed than he has been. Just want to trot there, that's all right. We'll let him trot. When he comes back to the walk, I'm not going to cue him to walk. I'm just going to wait for him to do it himself. Creating pressure there, creating pressure. There he comes off and he's just walking. I'll draw him in. Just because he came off, he came off that pressure and started walking. And then he, then he licks it, comes straight in, gives him both ears, licks and chews. That's good. That's what I want. Good kid. He's going through a, a big letdown here, so I'm going to let him go through this process a little bit. I'm not going to bother him too much. Licking and chewing and starting to yawn. Flies are annoying him a little bit there with his feet. Big yawn. Good kid. There we go. Holding on to a little bit there, mate. Still got some twitching going on around his nose there. The eyes are twitching a little bit. Still got a little bit more to let go of, I think. No more. All right, kid. Off you go. There's a boy. So that's nice and relaxed. I like that. Picking up his speed here a little, getting a little bit anxious. That's all right. He's just creating himself some pressure there. He's wanted to stop. So he felt that pressure. Send him on there. So I want a spot where I've got his ear and there's no pressure on that lead. And he's drawn that way because that's where his yard is that he's living in at the moment. And he's hit some pressure there and wanted to come in. Now, he's getting a little bit confused about what I want because he's thinking the pressure on the lead means stop but he's creating that pressure so what I want him to figure out is how to come off that pressure and just relax and walk and there that's where the rest comes good kid well done you might have, I don't know if you'd be able to see it through the video there clearly but he was he was pulling on pulling on the lead, pulling on the lead, creating pressure. Uh, and then as he came around this end here, he's come off that pressure while walking, and his ears on me. So we draw him in and, and give him a rest there. These flies are bothering you, aren't they, mate? I have to get some spray. There's a boy. That's a nice, relaxed walk. I like that. And he's really keeping that pressure off that lead. He's staying in nice and close, keeping a big loop in that lead. I like that. But we've got to trot now, buddy.
There's a boy. He's just a little bit overreactive there when I've asked him to trot. Let's wait for him to come off that pressure. There, I've got his ear, and there's no pressure on the lead. We draw him in there. Good kid. Well done. He's a bit high-headed now. But he starts relaxing himself there straight away, licking and chewing, shaking his head. That's good. And the yawns are coming. That's perfect. He's very, very animated about how he lets down. Big yawns, tongue rolls out and goes upside down. His eyes roll back in his head there. That's pretty cool to watch. Good man. Good kid. Well done. That was a nice relaxed transition there. I like that. He's pulling on that lead a bit though. Just want him to come off that. I want him to stay at the trot. This is part of our our passenger lesson type exercises, except it's on a lead line. So this would transfer to our ridden works, the passenger lesson. I just want him to hold that gate that I've asked for. But I want him to relax off that lead. He's just getting himself a little bit worked up. I want him to figure out how to come off of that. Yeah, so he was just slightly off that lead there. Just went, just went, just slightly light in my hand there. So I'll take that as a spot to quit. And I reckon that'll do for our groundwork. I reckon we can start riding. I'll just wait for him to, to relax himself here a little. It is the, the ridden work where he's been having the trouble. Um, his groundwork's been quite good. Quite responsive and relaxed for the most part. Um, a few things I'd like to, I'd like to refine a little, but, um, but it's nothing that's, that's too vital at the moment. We're getting, we're getting the basics of what we want. Now if I didn't, if I had unlimited time with him, I would spend a lot more time on these refinements before we move forwards, but you now we're on a little bit of a little bit of a time crunch. So we need to try and make the biggest impact possible that we can with him. So that he can go home in a in a state where where his owner's comfortable to, to carry on with, with his training and and do those refinements, get those those things he's a bit anxious about sorted. We've got a bit of a lick and chew there. His nostrils are even. I don't think he's holding on to too much. There's no twitching going on around the nose there. So I think we'll we'll call that it for our groundwork. We'll go over here and grab the bridle, buddy.